Thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at the Gorilla Cell ESP32 Shield, which is this one. ESP32 Shield is designed by Gorilla Cell Company, a company based in South Korea. It comes with an onboard power supply voltage regulator through the USB Type C connector. This one. Please be noted that the data bus of the USB Type C is not connected to the ESP32 data bus. This USB port is mainly used as external power supply for the shield. It has a power switch, this one, which is a slider switch. It has a bigger reset button compared to the default small reset button of the ESP32 development board. It provides a GPIO expansion through the male pin headers to allow complete beginners to explore microcontrollers easily, avoiding unnecessary confusion in using breadboards. It is intuitively designed for attaching 3 pins to 5 pins headers. Please be noted also for the color coding used in the shield. Lock terminals are for the ground pins. Red terminal is for the BCC or 3.3 volts pin. But be careful of the 6 pins which is clearly labeled as 5 volts. Which are this part, this pin is 5 volts. For the 5 volts R squared C, I don't know if you can see. There is also 5 volts UR, and here at the end is 5 volts UR0. Yellow terminals are for the signal pins, and the blue terminals are dedicated pins for the SPI, which is VSPI and it's SPI. This kit also comes with a couple of 3 pins to 5 pins female to female high quality DuPont jumper wires. If you need to attach 3 pin modules, you may use these 3 wires DuPont jumper wires and connect it like this. So, as you can see, there's a color coding also for the uh, DuPont jumper wires. So you may connect it like this. So the black color is for the black terminals. The red, the middle one, is for the BCC. And the yellow one is for the signal pin. If you need to attach 4 pin modules, you can use 4 wires DuPont and connect it like this. Just select the pin and attach it. Of course, according to the color coding of wires and also for the terminal. Black for the black, red for the red, yellow for the yellow, and another white is for the signal pins. If you need to attach 5 pin modules, you may use 5 wires DuPont jumper wire and attach it on this part which has up to 5 pins columns that's it according to color coding just like this okay so let me remove all the DuPont jumper wires also notice that the pins are clearly labeled at the bottom I just added some board standoff, which is this one, to have some elevation and to prevent accidental short circuit. Now let me attach the ESP32 on top of the shield, making sure that the pins of ESP32 is aligned on the shield's female terminals. When it is aligned, you may push it gently. It's like that. 
Another is that both USB port of the ESP32 and the shield should be on the same side. In my case, it's in the left side. If done correctly, the ESP32 should fit nicely on top of the shield. So, that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any concern regarding this video, please do write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. Happy tinkering. God bless. Bye-bye.